I'm just a sucker for brisket, man. That's like one of my favorite things. I go to a barbecue joint, I don't get the chicken, I don't get the ribs, I get the brisket. So it looks like we're sailing into whiteness. Oh yeah, this is nice. We're very pruny, like very pruny. Here we are in a snow chamber. We had an incredible day planned in Ketchikan. And it's raining, like rain, raining. You see the raindrops on the glass. Oh, such a bummer. So much rain. Love the spa robe. Well, looks like the rain's gonna dampen our plans a little bit and catch can. Yep. There's something beautiful about it raining in Alaska and it being gray and misty and real eerie looking. I love that about Alaska. I remember that the last time we came to Alaska and to me that is part of the experience of Alaska so I love it. rain all day it's like this light drizzly rain but we don't have an umbrella <laughs> funny thing so you know we're packed we had to pack for a three-week trip we have one day in Alaska so I did not pack the rain gear I did not pack the water boots it's like it's one day that takes up a lot of space for one day in three and a half weeks yep it's raining so no water boots no raincoat no umbrella we were supposed to go for a float plane ride today, but unless this weather clears up, that won't be able to happen. So we're gonna see what we're gonna do today. Hopefully we can still get off the ship and do something. I tell you what, feels like Alaska though. You pull in, you've got mountains covered in trees. The air feels clean. I love that aspect of it. I don't like the fact that we might not can get in that float plane today. That would have been really cool. That's the first time we've ever done anything like that. Or, it was, that was going to be the first time we've ever done anything like that. I'm hoping we still get to do it, so we'll see. Fingers crossed. But if not, what's the worst thing that could happen? We're still in Alaska. And part of me really thinks that this is part of the beauty of it the rain and the gray skies and I love that. I love that. It's kind of kind of sort of what I want in a way. But it's beautiful. It's not that cold. Mm -hmm. Got a little fleece and you know, a pair of jeans on and I'm very comfortable. You know, you could actually wear shorts. You know, maybe a long sleeve shirt. Short sleeve shirt might be a little cool. But, yeah, so, you know, you don't have to have beanie caps and giant jackets to go out today because it's not cold. So that's plus. We need more coffee. That's good. We had an incredible day planned in Ketchikan. And it's raining, like rain, raining and it's not supposed to stop all day long. It's a 100% chance of rain the entire time we're in port. So Kelly had a great day planned for us. Hi Kelly, thank you for trying. Uh, we were gonna go for a float plane ride and she was gonna take us to a park where there are bears whenever there's low tide, but it's high tide because of the rain. And oh, so unfortunately, looks like we're staying on the ship. Ketchikan has a new dock, and so we are at the new dock, which is not downtown. So if you are docked downtown, you get off, and there's shops, restaurants, everything right there. We're at the new dock, and they have buses that will take us to downtown, but because of the rain and 
lack of umbrellas and rain here. Um, we're just, I mean, it's really coming down raining. <laughs> really, really raining. I'm standing in a covered area, but you can see the um, window dripping behind me and I'll show you the rain in a second, but super bummed about missing Ketchikan because it's our only port in Alaska. I just can't make it work. So me and Jason are gonna go get a day pass. Actually, Jason's already at the spa. We're gonna get a day pass to the thermal suite and just hang out there. And if the weather breaks this afternoon, because we're here till 4.30, if the weather breaks in the afternoon, we'll hop off the ship. But it doesn't look like it's going to. Super bummed right now. You see the raindrops on the glass. I'm on deck 16 and we are near the forward ele elevator so I come out in your garden cafe and I'm walking outside to the back where the spa is and just, you gotta see this pool deck. I mean, it is like a ghost town and it's soaking wet. You gotta see this. So much rain. a bummer and the temperature is great like I'm in short sleeves walking out here totally comfortable soaking wet but we're gonna go to the spa we always enjoy that so it's a good consolation for not getting into port sort of not really not for Alaska checked I am the only person in the women's locker room so I thought I'd show you what the locker room looks like my cabin steward was in our room so I couldn't change in there so I just grabbed my swimsuit stuck it in a bag and figured I'd just change in here so I didn't interrupt him but here's the locker room you can grab a robe and towels plenty of lockers if you need to lock anything up which I have a beach bag so I don't And there are showers in here. Nice big rain head showers. I now have on my handy dandy NCL spa robe. And again, I'm the only person in here. And it's time to go in the thermal suite. Let's go enjoy our day. Love the spa robe. By the way, it smells like eucalyptus or something in here. It smells really nice. Press to open. So we have the thermal suite on the Norwegian Encore 100% to ourselves. There is nobody else in here. I can't believe it because local friend said that the weather is terrible and there's not a whole lot you can do so I don't know how those excursions were going out or I guess because they paid for them they're going out anyway no matter whether they're good or not but we are in here let me show you around the thermal suite real quick and then I'm getting in there with Jason because that looks awesome in here and we're at the aft of the ship and it wraps all the way around so you've got this amazing view out of all the windows there's several of those hot stone loungers which I love but lots of padded loungers as well so you can just chill in here it's relaxing you know and you know chill for a bit and hot get in the Colossus pool giant pool awesome with a hot tub or the stone loungers or the saunas let's just go check out the saunas here's 
There's also a salt bath and nobody's in here, so. And it won't steam up. So the salt bath's cool. Let's sit down. Oh, I squished. <laughs> oh, this is relaxing. It's just peaceful in here. And you gotta see the crystals. Okay, so you see the crystals behind me. But look at the rest. These are crystals down by your feet. And then the light fixture looks like crystals hanging down. So I'm just gonna sit here and relax for a bit. I can't do the steam room. Jason's in the steam room. I can't, I don't know, I just can't handle the hot like that. Uh, but this is a nice temperature. It's not too hot, it's not cold. And it's just got a good feel in here. And then next door is a snow room. Okay, and so I thought when Jason said there's a snow room that it's just gonna have a little snow flurries coming down the top of you. No, there's snow on the ground. Yeah, like all over the ground. I don't know how you're gonna go in there without like getting pneumonia. See, there's snow all over the place. It's 14 degrees in there. I am not going in. Nope. That's a big old nope. All right, my buddy Jason talked me into going into the snow room. He's like, you think you can do 10 minutes in the snow room? I'm like, I might can do five. But I don't know about 10, that's, that's a bit of a push. But uh, check this thing out. So he's right in there. Hello. <laughs> it's cold in here, huh? Yeah, the key is this. You go to the steam room first, and you get overheated, and then when you come in here, like, Jason, you're not cold, are you? I'm freezing. Oh, really? <laughs> 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 I'm not cold. I'm not cold. Because I was in the steam room. I was sweating there. So it's like you have to, your body heat has to, like, you know. Uh, it's part of the therapy process. It's part of therapy. That, that's just how it works. But when we walked in here on the snow, it was cold, but he's like, just put your towel down and that makes all the difference in the world. But here we are in a snow chamber, like chilling out for real. <laughs> he's, he's actually sitting on the snow. So I'm going to see if I can do that too. We're truly chilling out. Oh my God. Right. Mm. So the key to hanging out in the snow room is that you have to go in the steam room first. You have to get overheated. And then when you come in here, by the time your body temperature starts to level out, you've been in the snow room for at least five to ten minutes. And it doesn't bother you as much. But to come here like directly, you know, that's too hard. Yeah, I think we made the right decision. I mean, kind of second guessing myself because we've come all this way to catch a can in Alaska. We're not even getting off the ship, which is crazy. But, I mean, it's raining, and you can't really film in the rain. You'd have to be under your umbrella. You'd get st stuck in one spot, so you really couldn't get... You can't really vlog in the rain, and you can't really see stuff in the rain. I mean, I guess you can, but we just chose not to get off the ship. If it wasn't raining, and we could get in that float plane, we'd be like all in that mode. I think we made the right decision staying in here. I it's agree. real foggy and rainy and low visibility. We'd just be trampling around in the water downtown. So we'll skip it this time. Give us something to come back to and look forward to. Yep. <laughs> oh, all the jets are on.
makeup on because we were planning on going in the port. So that you can tell this was not planned. <laughs> but you go with the flow on a cruise. Whatever, you just trying to look pretty for the camera. No, I promise you I would not have makeup on if we planned on the spa. You're trying to activate the bubbles. Oh. Activate the bubbles, honey. Oh, bubbles on my butt. There is no butt. There's bubbles on my butt now. Oh my gosh, you have to hold on if you put your back up against these jets because it'll knock you over. Very pruney, like very pruney, and I think my makeup's starting to run. Been in this. Is this called a philosophy school? I think it's called a philosophy school. Been in here for probably about an hour. Let me tell you something. These jets on the side, they're low jets, and you can either put them on your lower back or you can put your feet up to them, and it's like getting a massage. Oh my god, it's amazing. Pretty. Yeah, the Jets got some major rust. Oh, yeah. Major pressure coming out of there. They got these bars you can hold on. You have to hold on. You have to hold on to them when you can. They massage your back, your feet, oh. pick your feet up. I've been doing my feet one foot at a time, and then the jet will turn off. I'm like, no, 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 I need more. And I press the button again to get it coming back on so I can massage my feet again. Mr. Brony. Mr. and Mrs. Prony. I'm gonna go hit the steam room. And I'm gonna go get a stone lounger. It's lunchtime. It's still raining. No catch a can for us today. We're gonna get some lunch and we're going back in the spa. How are you enjoying your port day, honey? I'm enjoying it. Nobody really got off today. Well, some people did, but. I did find out that the bus rides about 15 minutes into downtown Ketchikan. So I was talking to some of the guys in the steam room that they basically Hi. got on the bus and went into town, got off the bus, stuck, put their feet on the ground and checked it off their list, got on the bus, came back. <laughs> but I'm enjoying it. We spotted a lot, of finding out a lot of people stayed on the ship today. Mm -hmm. And the rain keeps picking up and it's 100% all day. Yep. So now it's time to eat, and I think we're going to go back and chill some more. I think. Yep, that's the plan. Yes. Good. Good. <laughs> watch it, watch it. Yes. Watch okay. Today's one of those days. We had a nice lunch at the buffet. Didn't vlog it. It was, you know, lunch. It was good, but meh. We were just chilling, and we're back in the spa. We've been back in here for about, I don't know, 45 minutes. That Velocis pool is amazing. Like, I can spend, I'm all nice and pruny again. I can spend so much time in there because it's not too hot, like a hot tub. It's just warm water, and the bubbles and the jets are so strong. It's fantastic, but I can tell you, we don't have this place to ourselves anymore. It is filling up fast, so I guess, you know, people who have been doing other things on the ship today or did get off are now here and uh, it is it is getting full. Jason's in the steam room right now. I've got one of these padded loungers. Um, I was on a stone lounger earlier and I got up and I lost my spot. So, because they're all being taken. Well, they're not all hot, that's the thing. For some reason, some of them are cool and I don't want to sit on a cold one. So, this padded lounger is awesome. I am about to put my audiobook in my ears and kick back and chill for a bit. Um, we have nothing to do until 6.30 dinner at Q, which is the barbecue joint, which we've never eaten at, so we're kind of excited about that. So we've got dinner at Q, and then after that, who knows, um, we may come back in here at night. You never know. Oh, look, my, my makeup's running. See, like I said, I did not plan on coming to the spa today or I wouldn't have put makeup on. I planned on going into Ketchikan, again, and it's still raining. Yeah, it's still raining. So I'm just sitting here watching 
the droplets go down the window. It has not stopped raining the entire time we've been here. And I'm not talking about a sprinkle, I'm talking about rain. Rain. What? You know what? You make the best of a bad situation. We couldn't enjoy our day in Ketchikan, but we have thoroughly enjoyed our day in the thermal suite. And it's not over. But I'm putting the camera away so I can kick back and chill. Bye. Hey, Ani. What are we doing? Slowing away. Yeah, we're still <laughs> here. Spa. We are watching as we sail out of Ketchikan. And it's raining so hard. It's literally like sheets of rain coming in sideways. So I know we're going to get a lot of, how could you go to Alaska and not get off the ship? I know we're going to get that. And I can't believe we did it either. But if you would have seen this weather, you would understand. Because everything we had planned was not going to happen. And we talked to some people that they got off the ship for like five minutes and they're like, nope. And they got right back off the ship. So we just bypassed that. But yeah, we're watching the sail away now. God, it's beautiful going out of here. I mean, you just got like green, like mountains covered with trees on both sides of you. Layers it's just beautiful. Like, yeah, like they, layers and layers of going all the way up the mountain. It's so beautiful. I'm going to take the camera over to the window, but I don't think you're going to be able to see because the glass is so thick. It kicks, it kicks back a reflection. But let's go see if we can see any of this. Like I said, reflection. Even if I go all the way up, touching, the glass is so thick back here, you can still see a reflection. But even with my reflection, you kind of get an idea of what we're seeing. It's pretty darn beautiful. So it looks like we're sailing into whiteness, not darkness, whiteness. There's so much fog around us. I mean, literally, I can't see very far in front of the ship. It's raining, like a heavy, heavy rain all around us. It feels like, like we're in this like cocoon of weather all around us. And we're out on our balcony. We've got, like, you can see that it's completely wet on the, the railings. But we wanted to come out here and watch the sail away. It's a little chilly out here. When you're, I'm Which in my robe. Spa Ooh. robe. A little From spa day. There. Spa day. It's eerily beautiful though. Like it's the the gray and the mist. It's just, it's eerily beautiful though. The gray and the mist and all that just screams Alaska. I think it's part of the experience. It's pretty. I think it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I would have liked to have some sunshine so we could have done the float plane today. That would have been nice. This is what it is. Alaska's so dang beautiful. Just the layers. You know, there's a mountain, and then behind that mountain is a taller mountain, and behind that mountain is a taller mountain, and it's just and grown and covered in these beautiful trees. You know, you just sit and think you know, how much nature is out there. All the waterfalls, wildlife, or just. Well, this is pretty awesome. The Great Beyond. Mm -hmm. The last frontier. Yeah, the last frontier. We are, you know, it's not, it's not cold per se, you know. I got my t-shirt on, but it's a nice, cool breeze. I'd probably say it's high, high seventies, mid seventies ish. Got me a cup of coffee. Hot cup of coffee. We left the spa, and I was like, I want a cup of coffee before we hit the room and sit on the balcony and watch so I did.
we are at Q, which is the Texas Barbecue Smokehouse. <laughs> this is a new restaurant on the newer NCL ships, and we haven't tried it yet, so we decided to try something that we haven't done before. And, um, I mean barbecue. Who can go wrong with barbecue? Yeah, look at these cups. These are not throwaway cups. These are like reusable cups, but they look like a red solo cup with the Q logo on it. Yeah, they're heavy. They're real solid cups. But the menu looks really good here. Um, I mean, it's it's barbecue. I mean, hopefully it's good. I tell you what, when we walked in, it smells really good. So it's interesting that they do like smoked barbecue on a cruise ship because I don't know. To me, it's just weird that they can actually do that, but they do. Okay, so I'm cautiously optimistic because I cook a lot of barbecue. I don't smell any barbecue in here at all. I smelled it when we walked in. I don't, I don't smell any barbecue smoke. And it's, it's going to be interesting to see what they can pull off. Yeah, I got me a salad as one of my sides, but as I was reading the sides, it said jalapeno cheese grits. I'm like, oh my God, I bet those are awesome. And the couple behind us, he just said, y'all guys are going to love the deviled eggs, which is what I got for my teaser, my appetizer. He said, and she said they were delicious. You get three of them. They said, they're, they said they're very, very good. My mom used to make them for me when I was a kid. And anytime I can get some deviled eggs, it's like a, it's like a treat. It's like a delicacy to me. Yeah, I've been doing bad on my diet. We killed it at the buffet earlier we broke from the spa to go eat and i ate a, two huge helpings of mac and cheese i had two no three slabs of meatloaf big thick slabs i'm like yeah can you cut it real thick you know oh my god i had uh what else did i have oh i had, they had ramen. five ramen a big old they had a ramen noodle station so I made me up a big old bowl of that. Mm, it was good. And then got some fried fish. I ate a bunch. I'm not doing so good on my diet. As y'all can tell, I've gained a few pounds, but I'll, I'll get it off. But I've decided to go with a brisket tonight because I'm just a sucker for brisket, man. That's like one of my favorite things. I go to a barbecue joint, I don't get the chicken, I don't get the ribs, I get the brisket. But Lisa got the sampler, so she gets to try everything. A little, everything. little bit of everything. So she loves her pulled pork. I like my pork pulled too, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Delete that. And I need some more Diet Coke extra diet. Extra diet. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Almost lost them. Looks like they got some candied bacon on the top of them. A beautiful presentation. I'm ready to try this. Eat up. Now, there's a couple of ways you can eat a deviled egg. You can just slam it. You can just slam it, which is what I is my preferred method. But I'm gonna take a nice little just bite out of it. I only have three, so I want to savor it. Mm. Oh. Oh, yeah. They were right. Those were fantastic. Real <laughs> creamy. It's got like a horseradishy kind of flavor in there. Oh, it's so good. When you only have three, you got to take baby bites and savor it. That's really good. We're off to a good start. You gotta try one now. Jason's being nice and letting me try his deviled eggs. You know I, I love you. I'm giving you one of my three deviled eggs. But I'm not gonna eat the whole thing. I'm just gonna no, take a bite. You're gonna eat the whole thing. <laughs> you can't be a good deviled egg. Oh, that's good. Uh huh. See, 
You're eating the whole thing. <laughs> no, I love you. I'm going to give you your egg back. No, I love you. I'm going to let you So, my mom makes really, really, really good fried okra. Ooh, that's too hot to eat. I'm going to have to let that cool off for just a second. <laughs> Alright, so they gave me like some sort of sauce to dip them in, but I'm just going to try it by itself. That's tartar sauce. All right, so at first glance, got some really tender brisket, right? Really tender. It's got a great little smoke ring on it. It's got good. Good bark on the outside. They trimmed it really nice, so it's gonna have a lot of fat on it. I'm actually impressed. That's really great barbecue. That's really good brisket. I mean, that's solid. Try the barbecue sauce. I'm actually really impressed. I didn't think it was going to be that good. So, pleasantly surprised. So I have brisket like Jason, but I also have ribs, which I'm going to give Jason one of my ribs. I have sausage and I have chicken. So, the chicken's usually the most disappointing thing when you order food like this. So let's try the chicken first. Dipping some barbecue sauce off Jason's plate. Chicken's moist. moist. It's moist. Yeah, that's the problem with a lot of chicken is it's dry. That's good. All right. Mm, look at that sausage. It's got it's like jalapeno, jalapeno cheddar. cheddar. Mm. I love the texture of this brisket. This is a solid good meal. This is a good meal. We were both a little on the apprehensive side about trying Texas barbecue since we're from the South, but it's pretty darn good. Not my favorite sausage, but I came for the brisket and that's the best thing. We are way too full to eat dessert right now, but there is no way that we were gonna pass this up. Listen to this lineup. Aunt Josie's Mason Jar Banana Pudding, or Peach Cobbler, or Pecan Pie, or Sweet Potato Pie, or Bread Pudding, or a Warm Skillet Brownie with Ice Cream. So, we're not allowed to get one of each without paying for all of them. We get one each, so we're gonna get the Bread Pudding and the Peach Cobbler, but we're gonna have them to go. So they said that what they'll do is they will send them to our room. And we've done this before because there is just so much food between appetizer, entree, side, and dessert. If you're too full, ask for your dessert to go and they'll deliver it to your room. So that's what we're doing. And we're going to have a chill night. We always do at least one chill night on a cruise. Tonight's our chill night. Chill day and a chill night. Chill day and a chill night. And we're going to have our desserts delivered. And then we're going to sit back and relax the rest of the night. All right, so all in all, Q was good. I mean, solid, solid barbecued brisket. I mean, the brisket was really, really good. Super tender, real flavorful. Um, the chicken, Lisa said, was really good. The only thing I didn't care for were the ribs. I felt like the ribs were overcooked. Um, the beans were a little, mine was a little al dente, but other than that, it was a great, meal something different that we've never had on a cruise ship before so this was nice so I would you know recommend giving it a try see what you think I liked it